I guess I'm doing a response video to Ujima Flipper on this kind of lousy subject, but whatever. <laughs> it's got to be done, I guess. Hey, Gary, um, you should watch your video. Um, I thought you were going to play my video and respond to it like you normally do. I was a little bit worried, actually, because you have a still on the screen there. Uh, but you didn't, so I was kind of happy about that. Um, I'll respond to it. Uh, I think your video was fucking a pile of shit, basically. I have to, I have to preface what I'm going to say by acknowledging the fact that you acknowledged that uh, you said you know you said you were part of the problem. Um, Mm, yeah, well, that's kind of really, you know, whatever. You, you, you want to sit, I was trying to be generous, okay? You don't want to be generous back? Well, that's your prerogative, all right? Um, yeah, I'm conceding that this is not a simple issue, that there's lots of uh, emotions, there's lots of psychology, human psychology, you heard that word? Involved. And you want to sit there and play these word games? Fine. Kind of thing, you recognize that your view on that is the problematic view, okay? I just want to talk about it really. I, I Okay, it's not a pile of shit, it's your, it's your view, so I'll take that back kind of thing, but, hey, I just think... Well, good enough, but, <laughs> you know, well, whatever, so yeah, let's get to the argument, okay. We'll just forget the, the insults and get to the argument. The reason why I posted your image, by the way, I was doing, I was just saying there's five or six of these videos out there, and I was giving you the opportunity to be poster child. You want to be poster child? Fine. I'll choose somebody else next time. This innate feeling of uh, separatism kind of thing is, is only encouraged, or separatism in, in a pragmatic sense is only encouraged and extenuated by allowing this kind of mildly xenophobic um, attitude to kind of be fostered. Uh, xenophobic is probably a bit strong a word. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right, exactly. Uh, yeah, you want to turn all this into some sort of race issue or some sort of, like I said, you want to turn it into something really, really crude and simple when it isn't crude and simple. It's complicated, okay? Yeah, people, people find a comfort zone in their life, and when the earthquake hits, the earthquake, <laughs> and uh, their life is fucked. You know, some people just walk around like in a daze, like, fuck, everything I care about is gone. Everything that meant something to me is annihilated. There's nothing here. I can't, I can't make life out of this shit because I can't relate to it. I mean, they, they just can't do the rebuild out of the rubble crap. Uh, you know, that's just some humans. And you just have to acknowledge that, that there's some responsibility to at least acknowledge the existence that that psychology is going to exist, whether you like it or not. Uh, you know, I know you're not anti other cultures. You know, you're just saying it makes things difficult, basically. No, I am anti. I'm really anti all fucking cultures. I, I hate fucking culture. That's my whole fucking point. I'm not anti. Nobody should be discriminating against somebody based on race. But culture sort of is a, the content of your character. Okay? There really is a, a, a character element to culture. Okay? I really like Asian culture. But if they threw that, um, you know, woman walk five feet behind you bullshit in my face, yeah, I'd give them a goddamn ugly look, you know, at least. You know, I'd say, well, that's bullshit, you fuckers. I might articulate that in the in the little community bathtub. I, if somebody's talking politics, I might say, you know, guys, that's really bullshit. You ought to grow the fuck up. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's, there's elements of culture that can be complete fucking crap, and uh, we have a right to say, eh, fuck that shit. And burkas fall in that fucking category. Uh, I have no respect for that culture whatsoever. Not even a tiny, not a tiny milligram of goddamn fucking respect for it. All right, and if they want to do it in their own shithole, that's their business, I suppose. But when they drag it over here, fuck them. That's your argument. Um, it's just—it's not a good enough argument, Gary. Uh, you know this. You've said this in the video, but uh, you know, um, you talk about uh, why we want to purposely smash cultures together. That's not what's happening here, though. You know. <laughs> Bullshit. Certainly fucking happening here. So maybe it's not happening where you live, but it's happening here. I mean, people are not only getting nailed by the generation gap. I mean, that's always a liability. You got the generation gap thing. Um, you know, you're getting gapped all over the fucking place. Uh, you know, but then there's this whole thing where, yeah, there are, there's this, this immigrant thing has taken place in a big fucking way, and, and, uh, you know, I've seen whole, I've seen whole towns disappear. I mean, they, they aren't even, a, there's not even a remnant of what they used to be, all right? So this thing does kill. I mean, it does destroy, all right? And you want to call it improvement? You go ahead and say that word, but I don't think you could demonstrate it anywhere. Um, these different cultures are not being forced into a small room together and being told to sit at the same table, you know? They're allowed in a progressive society to each establish. Yeah, key word there, progressive, all right? Progressive change is something we have a responsibility to accept. When we're moving forward, that's that we have a responsibility to accept moving forward. But when we're moving motherfucking backward, when we're third worlding, or we're doing even worse and we're trying to go back 2,000 friggin' fucking years and we got women in goddamn fucking glad bags, fuck that. That's not fucking progress, that's fucking regression. And that should be opposed, it should be stopped. I mean, you know, I grew up in the hippie generation. I mean, we really fucked up the, the, the poor old World War II veteran type, um, leave it to beaver guys, okay? All of a sudden, whoa, what the fuck happened to their world? But you know what? What happened to their world was something that needed to happen. They, they needed to get out of the lie that they were living, the bullshit, okay? The, the fucking domino theories and the let's kill some more goddamn people for no goddamn good reason theories and all the rest of that shit. They needed a little bit. They needed to progress, all right? And the 60s were progress. It was demonstrable progress achieved. Okay, but, but but dragging a bunch of uh, a loony religious nutball crap and, and then you know throwing mixing that into your fucking uh, melting pot ain't gonna get you nothing good. Wrong communities and to integrate as far as is comfortable for them kind of thing, you know. And 
it kind of actually you're explained there uh, is only going to make that process difficult and in a sense. Yeah, uh, bullshit. I mean, the way to get rid of the way you change somebody's culture is by talking to them, by doing it, by letting them release it, like let them give it up. Okay. I mean, my the generation before me, they released it, they let it go. They said, okay, I, I see where you're heading here, fellas. I can grow my hair a little longer. I can be hip. I, I can be, uh, you know, I, I can, I can, I can do this. I can dance this dance. Some of this music's pretty good. I like it. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you know, they they they, let, they released it. Okay. It wasn't so much of the imposition thing. It wasn't like the graffiti on the fucking wall thing. It wasn't in your face. Um, and that makes a big difference. So yeah, the the, the idea is, is 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 to is to integrate. And I hate that. I can't say that goddamn word. Um, integrate. Um, you know, in some sort of respectful manner. Okay. When you're coming to make the change, you do it in some sort of. You do it in a certain way. Okay. You you come with your head bowed and you you do it delicately. You don't sit there and just march in and say, "There's a new kid in fucking town and you're you're playing ball my fucking way." Fuck that shit. And problematic. Okay. Um, Bleeding of different cultures is, is a gradual one. Yeah, um, they're not smashed together. Um, the oh, let's just get real about this shit. Come on, the world has changed radically in the last hundred years. People live radically different. The the segregation that existed has radically been annihilated. All right, this is not minor change. It's a, it's radical fucking change. You know, you come with this kind of dickhead attitude. It is a dickhead attitude. Uh, you know. Sorry, I, I know you don't yeah, know. well, whatever. I mean, it's coming from somebody who, who you're, you're one of them, okay? You're one of those morphy things that wants to live 17 different ways or doesn't, isn't offended by anything. I mean, you know, whatever, you're a pig. You'll eat any kind of slop. Um, yeah, I'm not. Uh, you know, I'm really, I'm, I have some, uh, I have some dependencies on a certain kind of slop that I'll slop, okay? And that's just the way it is. I ain't going to be undone with this bullshit rhetoric. I have a right to be pissed off if it's not taken from me the right way. And most of the cultures, you know, far from it, your philosophy is pretty much based around the fact that every single person is, and indeed every single sentient creature is equal, yeah? So I know that you Yeah, again, they're equal in the fact that they have a content or a, a character, but their character isn't equal, all right? Again, it's this, you're perverting my words to say that I have somehow embraced all, all uh, manifestations of, of uh, you know, human psychology, because bullshit on that. It's not, that's, this isn't, uh, where you're coming from. You know, I, don't, I don't, your philosophy is everybody's equal. That's, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying you, you think that no, that not people are equal, that kind of thing. But uh, you basically just oppose multicultural because, because you think it's a ball ache. That's basically what it is. It's a ball ache. Oh, God, do I have to? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you want to trivialize it, that's your prerogative, but there's nothing trivial about it. It's things, people write songs and poetry and, you know, this idea of, this, of, of living this life, you know, this heritage thing. This isn't a minor thing to people, and you're just full of shit. Like I said, if I walked up to Oxford, or one, like I said, there, our conference reports, beautiful university, and I started writing pink crap all over the walls and, you know, hipping it up a little bit, throw some chrome in there, uh, you know, it, come on, fuck you. What can you do with this, you know? Like, where are you getting this from? Because, you know, you're, you live in a, in a place that's pretty monocultural, don't you? I'm pretty, I'm sure you yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm very mono. Extremely mono. And uh, I'm not defending that either. And that's regressive culture. It's, it's, you know, 1930 culture or something. I mean, it ain't a good culture. Um, it needs to be, um, it, it needs to be more progressive, okay? But what it doesn't need is to, you know, get sloppy and dirty and have litter on the fucking streets. It doesn't need to get messy. You do, you know. I myself live in Nottingham in England, which is very multicultural, um, and I can tell you that any problems of division uh, are largely between districts and not cultures. Yet, so you've got uh, you have white, black. Oh come on, it's cultural too. But yeah, the f people, people, there has to be a difference for people to fight. Okay, if they're all reds, then they all be reds. All right, they end up being reds and blues because they do have some. Uh, well, I mean, they say potato and we say tomato, and they say uh, tomato and we say potato. I mean, you know, they they find something to fight about. In Asian kids, in one area. Uh, that they fight with white, black, and Asian kids from a different area. It's the, the problems that they have. Are, are, they have their own turf. So yeah, it's a district thing. It's certainly not as many problems between cultures, that kind of thing. You know. But the kids. Yeah. Well, whatever. You you want to make those distinctions? I'm saying there's a lot of culture that bleeds into those distinctions. I mean, sometimes it's just a matter of well, they're a different race of Asian, or they're a different this, or they're, you know, there's all kinds of rules that people have for their bigotries and their hostilities. Um, and I'm just saying, I hate the whole idea of it. I hate the whole idea of having a bunch of, of colonies of difference. Screw that shit. I mean, you either do the melting pot thing the right way, or you don't do it at all. Themselves integrate quite harmoniously um, as far as different races and religions go. That kind of thing. You, know. you, you say you know you're part of the problem, and that's good. And you say, oh, maybe it's my attitude is the problem. But I think you sell yourself short with that. I think uh, you know, whenever I see you interact with people when you walk and talk, you're very polite and civilized to people in real life. I'm sure you are to every person you come across. I don't think you should be judging your. Yeah, well, wait till somebody with a burqa comes comes my way. Um, I ain't gonna be too too fucking polite no more. Because that's that's like. I mean, I don't have a perfect analogy, but I can imagine, like, 200 years ago, if you got on a stagecoach dressed like an Indian, 
uh, I'm pretty damn sure people would be pretty intolerant. <laughs> you know, they'd say, you know, fuck you. I mean, Indians just burned down my mama's house, uh, you know, and, 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 you know, raped her and did all kinds of hideous, horrible things to the body and shit. And so I'm not going to tolerate you in this fucking stagecoach. I might just pull my gun out and blow your little fucking head off. So by some of your interactions on the internet, it's completely different, as you well know. Um, so you said basically if you were to go over somewhere else, you'd feel intimidated and you'd, feel you'd have to respect the place that you're moving to. Um, you say, okay, why should uh, people be allowed to come over and open a temple for their bullshit, basically? What's the difference between indigenous bullshit, though, and imported bullshit? Uh, the word, yeah, 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 the word indigenous, I guess, is the difference. The, the, they're there first, okay, they're there. And you're going to do a taking. So anytime you're going to do a taking, you've got the responsibility. You've got the responsibility to be taking in the right way, in, in some kind of humane and decent way. And uh, yeah, that's just a practical fact. All cultural bullshit.